We're a startup that recently spun out of the laboratories of the University of Maryland College Park and also Johns Hopkins University. The high tech technology platform is called Thermal Shock Synthesis. The technology enables energy efficient production of unique multi-element materials with high value applications, including as catalysts. We were one of the lucky participants in the MEA program during the last cohort, and this has helped us tremendously over a relatively short period of time. Ben and Brian have provided resources, guidance, and this has really accelerated our growth. I should introduce myself. My name is Bob Gaddy. I'm the CEO of High T Tech. I recently joined uh, after retiring uh, after a 30 year career with WR Grace in Columbia, Maryland. Uh, Grace is one of the world's largest catalyst producers, and I led several of the business units there at different times, including Grace's billion dollar uh, refining catalyst business. At the end of my time at Grace, I was the company's uh, CTO. Next slide, Ben. Now, catalysts. Catalysts are used to produce a wide variety of materials that are cornerstones of several key global value chains. These include fertilizers for farming, transportation fuels, plastics, pharmaceuticals, just to name a few. Manufacturing methods that utilize catalysts are very energy intensive because catalytic processes typically rely on high temperature reactions and because catalysts themselves often need to be wetted and dried several times during production. No matter how efficiently you design a process, enormous amounts of heat can be wasted. Think about a typical oven. Heating elements are on the edges or the bottom and heat must transfer by radiation or convection to the material being processed. This wastes a lot of heat. The environmental impacts of these inefficient processes are profound. According to our world and data, chemicals and petrochemical processes emit nearly 6% of global greenhouse gas emissions. Most of that is, in, is from energy use, but some of it is emissions from the processes themselves. In addition, many future clean energy processes, such as hydrogen or ammonia-based fuel technologies, rely on specialized catalysts at their core. A high t tech technology greatly enhances efficiency of catalytic production while creating new compositions of matter with extraordinary catalytic capabilities. And honestly, that's why I wanted to get involved with the company. I saw something unique and I wanted to be a part of bringing it to market. My involvement with MEIA initially as an energy executive in residence gave me a unique try before you buy opportunity to get to know high t tech before agreeing to become their CEO. So our disruptive thermal shock synthesis process was the cover article in Science in March of 2018. The process involves extreme rapid heating and cooling, a thermal shock pulse that creates novel uniform multi-metallic nanoparticles called high entropy alloys or HEAs. The electron micrographs on the slide show the uniform distribution of elements in a single HEA nanoparticle. In 2018, we demonstrated the ability to mix up to eight elements to create highly stable particles with unique catalytic capabilities. Today, we can mix 12 elements or more. Now, you might be wondering why, why more elements? Well, it turns out the more elements in the particle, the greater the entropy of the final HEA and the more stability the particles exhibit during catalytic reactions. This provides a significant advantage over traditional multi-metallic catalyst systems. Next one, Ben. Thermal shock synthesis technique relies on a rapid joule heating of metal precursor salts on a substrate, in this case, carbon fibers, and through which an electric pulse is applied. The resulting lo local temperature increase is rapid and substantial, generating several thousands of degrees Kelvin in fractions of a second. The cool down quench step is just as rapid, and this essentially freezes the multi-metallic particles into a solid solution or a high entropy alloy. We've demonstrated the ability to create HEA particles on a variety of commercially relevant supports, including carbon, silica, and alumina. The IP is owned by the University of Maryland, uh, licensed on an exclusive basis to high T tech. It covers process of manufacture, it covers compositions of matter, and it covers certain applications. Next slide. Now the value proposition. In, in one specific application, this is be, would be the oxidation of ammonia to produce nitric acid. We've demonstrated that a specific five component mixture provides many advantages versus traditional catalysts in this application. Specifically, lower use of precious metals in the finished catalyst, lower operating temperatures, providing energy savings for the producer, reducing greenhouse gas emissions, enhanced selectivity to the desired reaction products, which reduces wasted raw materials and, and reduces toxic NOx emissions, and extended catalyst lifetime, which reduces downtime and lowers maintenance costs. We estimate that a typical nitric acid plant can save over a million dollars in annual operating costs uh, using HEA catalysts. 
We're currently working on scale up of this particular system and we're in active discussions uh, with several catalyst and nitric acid producers to do so. Next slide. However, that's only one potential market application. Heterogeneous catalyst market is over $20 billion in, in total value, covers a wide range of such applications. Based on our market assessment, we believe the technology is particularly well suited for several of these, including automobile catalytic converters, ammonia chemistry, refinery processing, and fuel cells. Our entry point is going to be ammonia chemistry, and this includes synthesis of ammonia for hydrogen storage and fertilizer production, decomposition of ammonia for hydrogen manufacture, and oxidation of ammonia for nitric acid production. These applications use long established and expensive catalyst systems, but have opportunities for improvement that we hope to take advantage of. And we expect that our HEA technology will provide opportunities to more efficiently produce and process ammonia as an alternative to some hydrocarbon based fuels. Next slide. Uh, High T Tech is currently based in the TAP building and in incubator facilities at the University of Maryland College Park campus. We're currently funded by several RPE grants, including one focused on new ammonia synthesis catalysts. And we're actively pursuing additional non-dilutive money to continue our work in new catalyst discovery and to scale up our manufacturing processes. We're also actively engaged with several Fortune 500 companies in the catalyst space with the goal of jointly developing IP for specific applications. Our business model is to become a catalyst developer and process licensor, and this would enable us to focus on creating the best performing materials for our customers while deriving royalties uh, related to the manufacture and use of our catalyst by partners and by third parties. Next slide. Our revenue will derive from multiple sources. Initially, we expect to enter into a number of uh, paid proof of concept research programs. Um, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the slide. <laughs> the photo came, the, uh, the, the, the chart came through a little funny. Um, these will be short term in nature, be used to justify longer term development programs where we'd work to design specific high T tech process technology for individual customer applications. Revenue from licenses and royalties would begin to grow from the successful completion of the, the development programs, but the ultimate revenue sources are gonna come from actual catalyst product sales to end use customers. These products will be developed directly by high T tech, manufactured either by uh, tolling arrangements with existing catalyst producers or in our own facilities. Next slide, Ben. I wanna take an opportunity to introduce the team. Professor Bing Hu from the University of Maryland College Park and Professor Cha Wang from Johns Hopkins University, our founders, along with our COO, Dr. Cheng Wei Wang. They're all actively involved in the company. Dr. Yun Hui Gong recently joined High T Tech as CTO. He comes from uh, Nissan Motors. And my role is to lead the business activities and to bring this unique technology to market as quickly as possible. Next page. So in addition to non-dilutive funding uh, grants from government sources, uh, High T Tech is currently seeking 500,000 in additional unrestricted funding to help with our early phase company build out. Specifically, we're seeking money to add additional technical equipment and personnel for product development and scale up of catalyst production, to pay for an increased level of legal and administrative requirements, and also to manage development contracts and IP prosecution, and to continue our growth trajectory prior to seeking formal seed or series A money. And the last page. And what I wanna do is thank Brian Toll and Ben Margolis uh, from MIA for their help during this early stage of our development. And I also wanna thank you all for your attention. I'm happy to answer any questions.